school districts in the Houston area will be discussing how to bring back virtual learning. Fort Bend ISD earlier this year said it wouldn't. The Delta variant clearly changing all of that. Our Brittany Jeffers is live at district headquarters for us this morning. Brittany, good morning. And good morning to you. A lot to discuss here. Now, we know that students are going to be heading back for in-person instruction on Wednesday. But over the weekend, the district said that it was going over and looking into virtual enrollment program. Now, we do expect to learn more information about this and what it entails later today. A new school year just days away, and now more options might be on the table for students in Fort Bend ISD. In-person instruction begins on Wednesday, and this post by the district says over the weekend, the district started working on a limited enrollment virtual school, but details are limited. I sat down and spoke with the acting superintendent, Diana Saavedra, two weeks ago. This was prior to the announcement about online learning. You know, I, again, I know that our principals, our teachers, um, are very excited to welcome um, the children. And so I want to just emphasize to families that health and safety are a high priority for us and we're gonna uh, take care of their kids and they will be safe in our school buildings. Those safety protocols include self-screening for staff and students, three feet of social distancing, breaks to wash hands, and based on Governor Abbott's order, masks will be optional. Some in Sugarland weighed in on the possibility of a virtual program. I think I'm for virtual learning. It kind of reduces the risk of people getting COVID. But I have friends who have kids that are under the age of 12. They can't get the vaccine. So I see the concern for a lot of parents sending their kids back to school. It's hard to enforce kids to wear a mask. So according to the district, those details will be released to parents uh, on the district website or perhaps by email. Of course, we do not have an exact timeline as to when this will be released. Reporting live on Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.